there and welcome to Conversations with Catherine. My name is Catherine Tatsuda and I'm so excited that you are here with us today. I'm especially excited because I'm standing inside of this fabulous old and amazing kitchen that belongs to Elizabeth Nelson, who is the artistic director for First City Players. How are you? I am well. Yay! Yeah, I'm Thank in the middle of all sorts of fun things. All and, sorts of fun things. And one of my favorite places in the world, a kitchen. Yeah, I've, um, I visited your house a couple years ago for a, an after party for one of the shows right. that I was in that you directed, and I remember being in awe of your amazing, I love historic houses, old Ketchikan houses, and so I loved your kitchen so much and so when you said you'd be on the show with me and I said oh maybe <laughs> she'll let me into her kitchen <laughs> I always let people into the kitchen. <laughs> Yay! So here we are, and um, and we're gonna cook dinner. We are gonna cook dinner. Yeah. We are going to make a um, sort of a sort of version of a gyro today. Okay. So for people who are Greek and really love gyros and are used to the big rotisserie things, no, that's not it. I'm do <laughs> I'm doing something that um, that I can make in just a regular oven. I don't need a rotisserie. Nice. But it does involve all of the flavors, and it's really easy and the best part you get to get a rock out of your garden oh. wrap it in foil and it's part of your dinner I and mean, you don't eat it okay <laughs> but it's it's key in creating it's key in the creating dinner, the dinner. Yeah. And anything where you can use a rock Perfect. is great so the basic ingredients <laughs> that we're going to deal with today okay. are um onion and garlic and ground lamb and uh, rosemary and some Greek oregano okay. and salt and pepper. That's how easy it is. Perfect. That's all there is. So I'm the, excited. Yeah. yeah. The first thing we're going to do is grab some onions and throw them in the fish the fish processor. <laughs> the fish. That's, I've been that's living a, in Ketchikan so, too long. That's a special kind of processor. It is. You know, we have everything right here in my kitchen. So I've okay. had my ground lamb okay. draining as well. That okay. whole concept that you want everything to be as dry as possible. Okay. So those herbs you grew yourself in your garden, right? I did. I have a little herb garden out back. How cool. And it's, what's in here is some um, oregano, some Greek oregano. Okay. And I also have hot and spicy oregano, which I really love, but I didn't do that for this one. Okay. And then um, some rosemary. Where did you get ground lamb from? Do they have that at Safeway? Um, they anything? don't. This one I get um, from, I buy a whole lamb every year. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I so you have it sent up? Yeah. Oh, how cool. Yeah, I really, everybody in my family loves lamb. Yes. It's our favorite yeah, meat. So um, and so it, oh, it's just fun. more cost effective to do it that way. Yeah. And then I just put it in the freezer yeah. and I've got tons of ground lamb and I have legs of lamb and shoulders of lamb and all the, all the lamb things I that we want. Do that. Yeah, yeah, I can show you how. <laughs> well, I mean, you awesome. have all the inns. You're a grocer. Come on. I know. I, we probably have an inn on a lamb, I'm you sure. You probably do. <laughs> and then I'm just adding salt and pepper. That's the only oh, other okay. thing I'm doing. And then we're going to let it, we're going to let it go for quite a while. Okay. Until it gets to the point where it looks really kind of gross. I'm crying. <laughs> I know, crying. me too. Me too. That was one <laughs> really mean onion. Whoa. <laughs> Mmm, there is some really yummy visuals. <laughs> oh, let me see. Oh, look at that. Hmm. <laughs> what musical does this remind you of? <laughs> Do tell. You want to sing some of the songs from it? <laughs> well, the title song would be Sweeney. <laughs> right? Sweeney Todd. Exactly. The we're gonna Demon make some, Barbara of Fleet Sweet. Some, right. some meat pies. Some meat pies, yes. exactly. So if you notice any of your... <laughs> Maybe neighbors missing. Don't come to my house. Wasn't here. They aren't here. <laughs> we didn't do it. We promise. Or if we did, it was Catherine's fault. Yeah, I know nothing. It happened before I got here. Okay, Beautiful. so to move into the next step, I oh. really am going to have to get into the refrigerator. Okay. So I can get my yeast out. We will do that. Okay, so we are going to start making pita bread, which I have, in Britain, of course, they call it pita bread. Pita. Pita Let's bread. Pita. And we're going to have some pita today. I love pita. I've never made pita bread before, oh, so this is a total I. experiment. Pita. I went and looked up a recipe <laughs> yesterday and said this will be fun. Perfect. So when, um, and I'm even going to not let the KitchenAid do all the work. Okay. We'll do a little bit of hand kneading, so Ooh. that means I have to get my 
very handy dandy special oh meeting gosh. board out. Where did this come from? This <laughs> what, what do you it have over there? there? This is this lovely old piece of furniture is called, it literally is called a kitchen queen. Oh my god. They were really popular in, I believe, the teens and 20s. Okay. And part of what was just great in the kitchen for people um, with without all the modern stuff that we have now, right. was it would hold a ton of different things. Right. These, these big drawers that have like the big, they're circular under yeah. there. That would hold your sugar and your kinds of flour. One of them wow. has a divider in it. It needs to be refurbished, so I'm always afraid to pull them out. To pull out. them open, okay. <laughs> Sometimes when you pull them open, they fall out and hit the floor, so sure. we won't do that okay. today. Okay, okay. Um, but then they, I, I still use these as spice wow. drawers. I keep my spices in the upper drawers. But they would have been, you would have chopped, you would have been your kitchen counter. Yeah. The kitchen queen, I love my kitchen That's queen. That's beautiful, and you got that here. I got that here. Mr. Bowling, okay. Kathy Bowling's dad, mm -hmm. used to have a, a used, for. it was an antique store it was it really was an antique store yeah. and when we first bought the house Keith and I were looking for things that were interesting and we walked into his store and we found this oh, and we man. found our sideboard wow and we were so excited because oh, it was bet. like real old furniture and it was beautiful and unusual real old furniture. right and he <laughs> even threw in a corner bookshelf with it oh. So they, oh, we, that's but so I special. love my kitchen queen. Yeah, and I have this is I serve pizza on this, and this is where I need my bread. I'm so and, excited. Yeah, it's yeah. just my my wooden board that I don't. Onions do not touch this board. Never, because they would just soak right up into they, that. And then everything yeah. would taste like onions. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel the theater is something everybody should be able to experience at some point in their life. Because for me, mm -hmm. what theater is is telling stories, mm -hmm. and as a as a being, human beings, yeah. as, since we can trace history, we have been telling our stories in one way or another. And drama, theater, telling a story with words, with, with voice, with body, um, has been part of almost every culture that you're going to see. Some use dance, some use, but it's, but it's still that storytelling. And that shouldn't be something that you only go see you should be able to participate in telling right. your story. Right. So I, I love making that accessible to people. Absolutely. And as, an, as somebody who does a lot of education, working with education, what theater does working for kids with their brain, how it makes you think, mm -hmm. what it makes you, mm -hmm. the critical thinking that it forces yep. you into doing. Absolutely. Music will do. Yeah. Uh, visual arts will do. Yeah. But you're not necessarily using those particular parts of your brain right. if all you're doing is, um, well, the three R's as they, as they call them. So it's, I think it's really important just to, to keeping us Keeping us human, yeah. keeping keeping us special, keeping us kind, keeping us keeping us in this world, and not just you know on that treadmill of making money for somebody. That's not we're more than that. Right. And we can't get away from that even if we want to. Right. So yeah. So I I passionately believe that theater needs to be yeah. accessible to people, and that is part of how I have tried to run this organization. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, fine. Okay, I am going to call this batch of meat done. All right. Okay. Add some tomato. There we go. Look at that. Oops, I'm dropping the tomato. Guys. <laughs> 